Go sit in your seat. What's poppin' T squad? Meryl, say what's up. What's poppin'? How's the pancakes? Good. Yeah guys, so as you guys can see, I just made my protein pancakes. You know, gotta get that protein and make it a little bit healthy. And they're gluten free. So that's my own little special recipe I just shared with y'all. Oh, the sleepy head girls are still sleeping. Have some more syrup. More syrup? Please. Let's go wake these girls up. Sleepy heads. Sleepy heads. Hey, <laughs> what's wrong with you, sleepyhead? Sleepyhead number two. So guys, let me share this little fun fact about Callie with you. Okay, she thinks her bed is daddy's side of the bed. Not only does she come to our bed every night, but she's always on my side. So this is my space right here after she comes, because I'm a, a hard sleeper, I don't notice her in my space. But this is where she sleeps every night. Not in the middle, not on Keisha's side. My side, every single night. Right, Callie? Hmm? Is that right, baby? <laughs> look, look. Say, what's up, T-Squad? <laughs> you whispering? <laughs> Kelly, you want a pancake? Mommy's awake. You finished your pancake already, Meryl? Yep. Wow. Wow. Bedhead. Bedhead on fleek. Look at you, sleepyhead. Everyone's a sleepyhead in this house except for me. I'm the only morning person. Come here, we used to be. We used to get up early together. Just copy Kelly. I don't know how Keisha is so tired in the mornings because she goes to bed before me. I go to bed after, I get up earlier, and I'm still more energetic and more awake. All right, so guys, I just asked Camaro a question. <laughs> Tell them what your answer was. How did you know? From website. From website. What are you talking about website? When are you on the website? And what website are you talking about? Uh, Walmart's website. You were on Walmart's website? <laughs> on what, the tablet? Yep. What the heck? This generation's crazy. What's up, Callie? <laughs> now you awake? Say, what's poppin', T-Squad? What's poppin', T-Dad? Give them a kiss. Big kiss. <laughs> you wanna get ready for daycare? Yeah? Daddy's princess? Mommy. Mommy's princess? Daddy. Oh my gosh, what about daddy's princess? Daddy's princess. Oh, okay. The other day, Callie called me a princess. <laughs> she goes, um, she's singing me a lullaby. She goes, Daddy, my princess. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> you were singing and she was patting my back trying to put me to sleep. She's so cute. All right, but now we got to get ready for work and uh, daycare. For real, for real. Come on, let's get ready, buddy. Let's go, go, go. Get ready for your shower. Gosh, Daddy Daycare Mornings. And if you don't bring back a new book today, you're not going to go treat some of the weekend. All right, so we're ready. Are we almost ready? Come here, are you ready? Show them your school swag. Show them. Sick jacket. Whatever. Yo, are you going to get a stamp today? Huh? Not with that attitude, you know. If Camaro behaves at school, they give him a stamp. So we know when he gets home, if he didn't behave, that he wasn't... If he gets home, he didn't have a stamp, he wasn't behaving. <laughs> Callie, you ready? Callie, let's go put your shoes on, baby. Oh, and look who's up. Finally. Why you and Camaro both do that? You both stick your tongue out. That's where he gets his rudeness from, eh? I don't like being woken up. I like to wake up on my own. Whatever, sleepyhead. Good counting, Callie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twen
Good job. Okay, go put your shoes on. 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, 190, Are you serious? What? Come here, I'll show you some of our I, I... Careful. Not so close. What are you looking at? Don't go so close to it, buddy. You did this to the shoes. Callie shot it. Callie is making a mess over here. Come here, here. this goes down the chute, too. The original was shot it. Bo, you said the original Sade? Yeah. Well, after Sade the singer, she's the original new generation. And now people are starting to use the name, eh? I hear a one, two Sade's on. Well, it's cool. Callie's setting the trends, though. All right, let's roll out, squad. Ha, ha, ha. All right, let's roll out, squad. What's up, guys? Did you guys miss me? Yes, I was a sleepyhead today, but you know what? A girl be tired, so, you know, I gotta freaking sleep. So I can get prepared for this last work day because ain't nobody want to be going to work. So wasn't in no rush to get there. But it's Friday. Tomorrow's Elijah's birthday. Well, his birthday's not tomorrow, but his party's tomorrow. So I'm gonna have Elijah a little bit later, and I'm gonna take him to go get his birthday outfit. Is he sleeping over tonight? He might. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. So I'm gonna take Elijah to get his nice little birthday outfit. You know, swag him up right quick. And I think Camaro might be sleeping over at Chantel's, which is a relief. Maybe she could take Callie too. That would be a real. That would be a real blessing. <laughs> <laughs> so I could get a full night's sleep. A little bit of freedom for the first time in a little while. I wanna um do my nails. When? Maybe tomorrow morning. Before the party? Yeah, cause like I can't be like you're like a plain Jane, you know what I mean? Camaro should be going to Allen too to get a quick line. Yes, please take him to get a lineup because I cannot stand it. Oh yes, this guy told me yesterday I want he wants braids. Now you want to grow your hair? After I've been yo, I've been trying to convince him and Keisha to let me grow his hair for years now. The only years. reason why I'm against it is because this boy will have this much hair. And as soon as I pass a comb through it, he's screaming and crying. Yeah, but he's over that phase. Camaro, you're gonna let us grow your hair now? You want braids? All right, so that's what's up. Starting today, we're growing his hair. He'll just get a lineup, no cut. All right, so Camaro's hair journey has officially started today. March we'll see, today's date, March 11th. We will see how long this lasts, and I will vlog when I'm combing his hair, and you guys will see what I'm talking about, because anybody got time for a boy to be crying about his hair when I already have a little girl to comb hair too? <laughs> So, so if you're going to be cooperative, bye, bye. I will do your hair. Bye. March 11th, 2016. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Kelly, you got your woman to shine. Bye. Kids are gone. Kids are gone for now. So what are, what are you going to say? I wanted to know what you were smiling about. Huh? Alright, you really want to know? Yeah. The reason I said that we have to get the car wrapped is because I scratched the whip. Where? In the back. It's just plastic though, it's just a bumper. Where? On the back. How? When? When I when I turned around at um the daycare just now, I backed into the something a little bit. It just scratched a little bit on the side. Oh my god, are you kidding? It's just plastic though. And you're worried about my driving. You're worried about me. Come. Yo, from now on, when I'm driving, I don't want to see you getting friggin' anxiety No, nah, because, yo, listen, 
Overall, I'm a sick driver. No one can tell me nothing. Every single time something happens to the car, it's you that does the damage. Last time mm. we were at LCBO, you backed into a pole. I was on the phone. <laughs> were you? Yeah. But yeah, anyone that knows me knows I'm a sick driver. It's just once in a while I get a little careless when it comes to like reversing or something. But yo, it's plastic though. It's just plastic. The point is, it's a little scratch a on the bumper. It's nothing. There's Anyways, an orange line on our black car now. It's that is noticeable. It's yellow. yellow. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get it fixed. It's not a big deal. You're paying for the wrap then. <sighs> Alright, I'll pay for the wrap, you pay, I'll pay for, for the, the tint. tint. Alright, deal. Cause yo, that give me some dabs, man. <laughs> it's just material <laughs> items, okay? It's not it could have been worse. I could have gotten an accident. This person's trying to get in. But yeah, um, not that big of a deal. So it's you know it can't rust because it's just plastic. There's no metal. That's not the point. The point is you were carelessly driving and you scratched the whip. It was an accident, alright? Accidents happen. Accidents happen, but all you know I'm what? saying is... Only people with no... I don't know. People with a low mental capacity stress over material items. Shit happens... Are you saying I have a low mental... No, I'm saying we don't stress about shit like that. Oh, no, I'm not stressed about it. No. I'm just saying you're always like, oh, you drive like this and you drive <laughs> yeah, like but, that. No, okay, hold on. The only reason I say that stuff is because I don't want you to get in an accident because I don't want nothing to happen to you. I drive a lot safer than you. It's here. not because I'm worried about the car. You think I say stuff because I'm worried about the car? I don't want you to get hurt, that's all. That's the only reason I would ever doing. say. People are, people are dumb. Anyways, yeah, we'll deal with that later. Have a good day, baby. Bye, love you. Bye-bye. It's not bye, it's see you later. See you later. She doesn't let me say bye no more. Gotta say see you later. Oh, you got um ackee and saltfish, but you didn't get me nothing. You know you don't want this. Yo, why you do me like that? You think I don't like ackee and saltfish? I'm not saying you don't like it. I'm saying because you're going to be working out in the gym. You can't have this heavy meal. I could have had it for after. Don't worry, I'm keeping it fat for you. Alright. Bye. Bye, baby. Let's see that fatty on the way out. Jeez. Jeez, jeez. Alright, T-Squad, I'm going to the gym. <sighs> Alright, so I just finished my workout. It was a short but really, really intense one. I was in there like 25, 30 minutes, but I took no breaks. I'm just going from one exercise to the next. Going really intense. And yo, today is one of those days I just didn't feel like going. But when you force yourself to go, the end of the day you feel way better so my whole day is set up to be a good day now the energy's there the blood's flowing so yo anybody watching if you're ever in that moment where you're deciding whether or not you should go to the gym you're making up every excuse just do it because after you go you're gonna feel way better Yo guys, all right, so back at the crib. Um, not a whole lot going on today. I'm gonna shower up, edit this vlog that you're watching. Today's kind of cool, because this vlog that you're watching right now, I shot it and edited it today, the same day you're watching it. So that's why it's a little late in terms of the post time. But yeah guys, before I end today's vlog, I wanna share something with, uh, with you guys that happened yesterday. It was one of those really, like moments where you could have overseen it but I, I took it as something really really powerful so it was something small but to me it was huge so basically me and Keish and the kids we were coming home from a long day we were coming into our condo building heading towards the elevators and as we were coming we noticed this guy and he had one leg so he was on crutches and one of his legs was cut off or amputated from like the kneecap down and I got the impression that it had just recently happened. Um, he didn't have, I don't know. I, I can't really tell you why I felt that way. That's just what I felt. I felt like it was, I, I sensed that it had, was something recent that had just happened to him. So anyways, long story short, as we're approaching the door, this guy's on crutches, but me and Keish are holding the kids. This guy has the kind heart to go walk on his crutches to go and open the door for us. And to me, like it was something small, but to me it was such a big gesture. Like you're you're somebody that's clearly, um, you're you're clearly someone who has had something drastic happen to you, a life changing event that some people that could break them down and, and ruin their spirit. And you know they, a lot of people in that situation wouldn't go and you know do something like that, like go out of your way to go open the door for somebody. And me and Keish both said, you know, thank you so much. And his energy was just amazing like this guy was like so happy or it seemed that way anyways he's like you know no problem and he had a big smile on his face um Keish made a comment about like the one shoe he had on was like a sick shoe and you guys already know we're sneakerheads 
it was like a sick Air Max or something. And you know, we started talking just a little bit of chit chat in the elevator about the shoe or whatever. And it was just a reminder to me to always be in the moment and to be like, to really appreciate everything and not to lose perspective over how blessed we are. Little things may stress us in our day to day lives and that's normal, but we have to appreciate everything and we can't take anything for granted. This guy had lost his leg and he's still so happy. He's still holding doors open for people. He's not letting that bring down his spirit or his, his, his vibe and he's not gonna let it ruin his life. Um, I, I don't know him personally, so I, all this information and not everything I'm saying, I'm kind of assuming, but that's the vibe I got. And honestly, he just impacted me and Keish in such a positive way in like the two minutes that we interacted with him. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I, I think it's really important to, you know, to take these little hints that life gives that life gives us, that you know we are blessed and we need to be thankful for everything in our lives. So that's it, guys. Um, that's pretty much gonna end today's vlog. I hope you guys all have an amazing day, T Squad. This weekend, as Keish said, we have a, a pretty fun weekend lined up. We have Elijah's birthday, my favorite and only nephew in the whole world. Um, little man's birthday party celebration. So that's gonna be probably, I don't know, we're gonna post that sometime this weekend. But we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and continuing to show all the support. I hope someone watches this and it uplifts their day. So love you guys. T Squad, I'm out. Peace.